Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, I'm Jeanette from Willie Gressel and Crafts. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can mess with the screensaver on your brother six and 10 needle machine. Someone, um, you know, mentioned about me having my logo on the screensaver of all of my machines. And as you can see, this is my logo. And this is my 10 needle machine and I have it on the screen. And then here as well, this is my six needle machine and I have it on the screen as well. So, um, you know, someone was asking me, how do you do that? How do you get your logo onto this, uh, onto the screen of the machine? So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how I get this done. And I'm going to kind of close the blinds a little bit because I think the blinds are giving me a little bit of a glare so um i want you guys to really be able to see well of what i am doing and i think okay i think that's a lot better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you exactly how to do this now first things first um, i'm going to show you exactly how you can do this looking it up in the owner's manual okay i have both owner's manual here handy and one of the things that i do is um i'm just going to show you right off the bat the thing that i kind of noticed like with brother is they always have like a product code on here right i have a lot of brought up uh brother products so what i usually do is i just put a sticker associated with the actual name of the machine that way i know where i what manual belongs to what because a lot of times you don't remember the product code. What you actually do remember is what it is. And it does help that it does have a picture of what uh, the machine looks like in the front. But it's just something that I do. It's just some, uh, something, it's a quicker way for me to reference it. Okay. So I also use a lot of tabs as you can see. So um, I'm going to show you exactly where in the book you can find out about the screensaver function. Okay. So if you have the brother... 1055x okay um what we're gonna do is we're going to go over to page number 27 and page number 27 here it talks to you a little bit about changing the screensaver image okay and it has the follow it has the area where you can follow the steps i am going to show you in the video how to do this okay but i just wanted to show you where you can find it in the manual just in case you wanted to do that, all right? Now, if I also have here the um, operation manual for the PR670E. If you want to look for the screensaver um, directions for this particular machine, you will go over to page 186, okay? 186 has uh, the screensaver settings instructions on this particular uh, machine, okay? So I just wanted to tell you real quick where you can find this information in the manuals, all right? So now let's just get down to it and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. However, though, before you actually even do that, one of the things that I do wanna point out and it says it right into the book, okay, that you're going to need to put the images on a on a flash drive okay and also one of the things you're gonna need is you're gonna have to make sure that the design is in the correct format which is a j uh jpeg um and let's see where does it say right here hold on one minute i want to make sure that i give it to you correctly okay this is the 10 let me see let me see all right, I don't see it in here. Hold on, let me look in the six because I know the six is the one that has it. I just, for some reason, I feel like the one, the directions for the six needle is a little more clearer. Okay, so sorry, it's from the other page. All right, so here it is. Here, here it has changing the screen save changing the screensaver image okay now first of all it's going to give you a file format okay it the max is uh two megabytes okay for each of the images and it has to be a j a jpeg uh format okay that's the format it doesn't take it any other format so whatever image you're trying to put on your screen make sure you save it on a on a 
on a flash drive and also make sure that it's in this format all right so i have several pictures on my flash drive which is right here saved on here and then what i'm going to do is i am going to now change up my file on the six needle machine okay and i'm going to show you exactly how to do this but i'm also going to turn it on on the 10 needle as well so that way you guys can see exactly where the settings are it's really going to be the same for both machines but i just want to um, show you exactly where it is so but first things first let's go to the 10 first and i'm going to show you exactly where it is that you would find this all right um let me lower this here i to make sure that you have a good view so you know exactly where I am hitting. All right, so right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the icon right here, like looks like a piece of paper. All right, so once I am here, okay, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to look for the section that has the screen settings, okay? So it's not on the second. It's not here. It's not here. That's background image. There it is, screen saver. So if you are on the on this machine, which is, this is the Brother PR1055X, you're going to be going to screen number 510, okay? And then you're going to have this right here. Once you have that here, you can do one of two things. You can minimize it tells you, you you know right here how many how many minutes do you want it to pass in order for you to be able to change to the next picture and then if you hit select okay then right here it gives you up to five Okay, now as you can see on each of these pictures, I have my logo, which is why when you see my machine running all the time, you really don't see the picture kind of switch on me, all right? But if I want to, I can put an individual picture for each of these, and then every five minutes, the next picture would show up, okay? So if you go over here, right here, this is a timer. I have it at five. You can do one minute, two minutes, three minutes. You can even up the minutes to if you want to as well, okay? So this is on the 10 needle machine. All right, so now let's go over to the six needle machine, okay? And let's actually change the um, the settings, okay? Now, this is the PR670E. If you have the pr 680 is probably going to be most likely the same. All right, so I am going to go right here on my screen. And before I do that, I'm actually going to put my USB onto the machine as well. Okay, now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because I want to make sure you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Here we go. All right, now. Just like in the other machine, I'm going to hit this little piece of paper right here. So I am hitting this. Okay. Now, remember, this is the 6 needle machine. So I just have to look for the screen saver. Okay. That doesn't mean it's going to be in the same spot that it was on the other one. So I'm going to keep going here. And it's not here. Okay. Not here. Oops. Here it is. It's on the fourth of four of six. Okay, this this section has six screens. You're going to section number four. Right here is screensaver. Once again, I have it set at five minutes. Okay, you can make it faster if you want. So if you if I want, I can say I wanted to change uh, pictures maybe every two minutes. Okay, then I'm gonna hit select. And then as you can see, same thing on my 10 needle is where I had all of my images. Okay, now, but the thing is, I want to change it up, right? So let's say right here I have, um, I already have my USB on the machine, okay? My flash drive is on the machine. So let's say for picture number two, I want to customize it, all right? So I'm going to get it right from my USB, and I'm going to pick... 
These are uh, some of the files that I have on here. And it says the file cannot be used. There it is. Here's another picture. This is me on the Tesla. I'm, gonna, I'm going to select it. Okay, so now let's go over to Customize 3. Let's see what other pictures I can select from here. Okay, now it is just showing me the pictures that I can select. I already know this one is, I probably got that ding button. It could be that maybe it was too big and stuff. Let me see if this one does the same thing. The file cannot be used. It's the same format, but it's probably too big as well. Let me see. I'm going to hit return. Okay, so it looks like I just have like one picture on there that I can get. You just really have to be mindful of the size. I just went in there and I was picking a whole bunch of pictures that I thought maybe I could use. It could be that they're just too big and, and I can't use it and that's okay. So what I'm going to do here is, and you can also delete the picture, but I don't want to. So I'm going to hit return. And then what I'm going to do here is you can see that I have this picture on here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit OK. But to make it a little bit uh, faster, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do it down to one minute. And I'm going to hit OK. And then, as you can see, um, it's probably going to most likely, after one minute, it's going to switch over. It's going to show like my logo, then what's going to happen, another minute's going to pass, and then it's going to show my picture, another minute's going to pass, and then if you, if you saw, customized three, four, and five, had my logo, so those minutes, it'll show that picture, that logo that I have, okay, I kind of wish that I had put more pictures on there, um, you know, that met the requirements, but I guess I didn't have uh, that much on there, so that's okay. Um, could have been two. Maybe I forgot to add it to that file. But anyway, that's all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a little minute here. Um, and we're gonna see how this goes. You know. Um, you know. Hopefully, it's going to show my uh my logo first, of course, and then as another minute passes by, there we go. Look, my picture showed up there. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? All right, so we're gonna wait like another minute and I think what's gonna happen and there you go. Look at that, now it's showing my logo. Isn't that cool? So guys, this is how you do it, okay? Very easy and it's really kind of neat because it, you, you can really customize this the way you want. You can put pictures of your of your dog if you want, your cat, your little pets. You can put your children on here. Um, you can do inspirational quotes, whatever it is that you wanna do. And you can really make this machine like your own, okay? So it's really, really cool and stuff, um, really neat. As you can see, the logo is already on here on as well. And it's probably gonna stay there because I did not change anything. Cause remember when um, I selected this, see, look at that, back to my picture. Isn't that cool? That's pretty neat. I like this. See, really fun. It's a fun way to really, um, you know, do your, 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 uh, personalize your machine. I mean, okay. So, and, and remember the reason why this just stays with, with my logo is because on the screensaver, okay. Um, remember, it has customized one all the way to five, and I have the same picture. So if you put the same picture, if you have like a company logo or something like that, you can do it just like that. That way you get it just like I have it on here, okay? You know, um, you know, it just depends on how you want to do it, okay? Because as you can see, now I have my logo. Now my picture shows up. So it's pretty cool. Right here, I just have logos. If I take pictures and I put them in here... This is gonna change up. Like I can put pictures of Mo Mello and all that kind of stuff. I can make it a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I am going to be doing a series about the Brother Multi-Needle Machines, talking about the functions, how it works, how to do certain things and stuff like that. So 
that series will be coming out. Um, I am filming and um, man, these machines are really awesome. They're a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, you guys have a great one. Hope you enjoyed the video and give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.